Hi all, in this video we're going to discuss how to construct Fama and French's 49 industry factors from scratch in Python. So let's first address why constructing these 49 industry factors is important. When you are managing a hedge fund, it is critical to understand your exposure to different risk factors, including the Fama French five factors, the long-term and short-term reversal factors, momentum, and industry factors, among others. In this case, we are focusing on the industry factors and using the industry definitions as provided by Fama and French. And if you want to find the source of the industry definitions or the exact industry definitions, you can go to Ken French's uh, website. Sometimes your algorithm can select a group of stocks. So when you're running a portfolio, sometimes your algorithm can select a group of stocks and you want to make sure that the stocks that you ultimately own do not overly expose your portfolio to anyone in industry. And to achieve this, we first construct the factors to get the monthly returns for each of the 49 industries. Ultimately, we will then regress each stock in our portfolio on the 49 industry factors to calculate the association between each stock and the 49 industries. Now that for stock regression, we would get a coefficient for each of the 49 industries from that regression. Finally, we then sum up the coefficients for each of the industries to get the net exposure of our portfolio to that particular industry. For example, if we had 10 stocks in our portfolio and we wanted to understand our exposure to the chemical industry, we would regress each of our 10 stocks on the chemical industry. We would then get 10 associations, which is basically the beta. So 10 betas that talk about the association between each stock of the chemical industry. And then what we would do is we would sum those betas, uh, those 10 coefficients, uh, and the sum of those 10 coefficients would give us our net exposure to the chemical industry after we multiplied uh, them by the amount of money we invested in each of the 10 stocks. Right, so we multiply the coefficient times the money that we invested in each of the stocks, and that gives us the, the net exposure. So in the rest of the video, we'll show you how to actually construct the time series for each of the industry factors in Python. So starting the Python code, we first connect Google Colab to Google Drive and import the necessary libraries and Python tools like you see in this slide. Next, we will construct the 49 industries based on the SIC code. We define a, <coughs> a function that digs in a data frame, which includes a column of SIC code. This function then assigns the industry name and code based on its SIC code. On the slide, we only show the first six industries, but the under, other industries can be constructed using the same method and refer to uh, Kenneth French's data website for the definition of the 49 industries. Then we import clean and convert crisp data. We also have to import clean and convert copy set data. Note that we're only keeping data after 2015. Next, we left join crisp to copy set data. The purpose of this step is to set SIC, the SIC codes for those companies that do not have SIC codes in CRISP files, but do have SIC codes in CompuStat files. Then we use a, a function developed previously to get the industry name and identification code for each company. We group companies by year and month in industry code, and we calculate the mean monthly returns for each industry. We rename the data frame and export the data to a CSV file. Now we import Fama French data and compare them to our results. Notab notably, we get the Fama French data from Ken French's website. Then we left join our result table to the Fama French table. Finally, we can derive a correlation matrix by using the Pearson correlation function. We export the correlation data to a CSV file. Remember that the correlation data compares our results to the Fama and French data. And so that concludes our video. I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you in the next video. If you have any comments, please, uh, post them down below. Take care.